So I'm, I was walking, messing around and I grabbed one of these lights and I have two FTE HL1s. And I thought to myself, I said, well, I sold my FTE guns, so I really don't need two FTE lights. I wonder how hard it would be to tape this down and keep some decent lines going. Uh, it didn't look like trash. And uh, I thought, well, maybe it would be a great first test for this tester's uh, ODG. So I'm like, hmm. So like, like I normally do, I create a new project out of thin air. And it's it's curious. I also have flat black, but got to run the ODG. The only thing I'm struggling with, I mean, I can pretty much get, I'm not too concerned about the bottom piece here. It's going to be attached to the gun anyway. I just want to get it as close as possible so it doesn't look horrible. Uh, I was thinking, sure, wait a minute to tape that off where I could retain that chrome line. Or should I just... Uh, and is the paint going to adhere to that material? I don't know. So we're going to find out. The pictures tell the story. This life had many shades. I'd wake up every morning and before I'd start each day I'd take a drag from last night's cigarette that smoldered in its tray Down a little something and then be on my way I traveled far and wide and laid this head in many ports I was guided by a compass, I saw beauty to the north I drew the tales of many lives and wore the faces of my own I had these memories all around me so I wouldn't be alone some may be from showing up others are from growing up sometimes I was so messed up and didn't have a clue I ain't winning no one over I wear it just for you I got your name written here in a rose tattoo in a rose tattoo Nice cool night. Good night for it. Oh, it's worth a try, huh? Testers, spray enamel. Experiment one. Olive drab. Flat olive drab. Code 1265T. Hobby Lobby, $6 a can. Here goes nothing. Oh, interesting smell. Go to the other side.
bit. There you go. All right, count down 30 minutes. And then I'll do a quick edge test with the finger. The one thing I read about this stuff in the forum that I found, the guy that put, posted all the pictures that I found and learned about it, uh, is that cure time is a lot longer than normal compared to like Krylon and stuff like that. So, might have to let this sit overnight. We'll see. All right, we're about 30 minutes in now. It feels good. Start the countdown clock again. See you in 30. Touch attack. 15 minutes in. I'm going to wait the full 30. How are we doing? It's been about 35, 40 minutes. I got distracted by my little side project here. All right. See? There's the contrast. There's the FTE. There's the ODG. Okay, Mr. H to the L. Will you in your thing? A sip of my flex on the pores beer. Hold on, excuse me. Oh, it tastes like I'm better than you. Nice. <laughs> Some bullshit. All right, back that up a little bit. Let's go. And now we wait. Yeah, once this fully dries, 30 or 40, we'll flip it on its back and do the undercarriage. Might as well. Do I have any flashlights in here? These are old cheapo. piece I saw before that's like a tiny little overlap. I'm just looking for inconsistency. I'm wondering if I should give it one more coat or just let it ride. I can always retape it. And I'm still not sure how it's going to look with this edge taped off. It's going to be gold or FDE, whatever. I mean, basically, it's two light coats with a little overspritz. I don't know. Let me see. Uh, move the tape while it's still tacky. Probably get a better line up that way. Yeah, screw it. Let's remove the tape. Let's remove the tape. Worst case, I'll retape it and give it a spritz. I mean, it's just an experiment, so it doesn't matter if it fails. I'll still run the damn thing. Uh, all right, let's go back to the gun room. I'll throw my headlamp on. I'm going to use the X-Acto knife to grab an edge. Uh, 
So you can see only the color that you're looking at. Man. It's not a touch tacky, but I read that you'll get a cleaner line if you remove the tape while it's tacky compared to when it's dry, which makes sense. Oh man, it's like 40 degrees out in Florida. That's cold. <laughs> you can see your breath in Florida. It's like, damn, chilly. All right. Not bad, man. I mean, all things considered. Let me see. Uh... See how that line. It's not bad, man. It's not bad at all. Now, how do I feel about that line? And. Huh. Not bad, actually, all in. It's kind of cool. Let me get my big light here. Super bright. The blinding beast. Six triple A's. I'll give you a true idea of what the color really looks like. Yeah, the line is not perfect. And I may just tape that off after it dries for a couple days and just finish it off. I wanted to try it. Both to see what it looked like. And to see the contrast between the original finish and the ODG. See how it's a little textured there? I think I, I, think I went a little heavy on it. Back that up a little bit. Interesting. So we can put them side by side. See the difference. Oh, yeah. Now, now you really see it. Interesting. There we go. I gotta say, I love the color. I think it's a perfect ODG. I'm probably gonna end up taping that edge off and do the finish the whole thing. I just wanted to do that as a screw it kind of thing. But that's not bad, man. Trying to zoom in. 
That's not bad at all. I will finish it off though, so it's all ODG. I don't like the way that looks. But, uh. Yeah, I don't want to unscrew that. I'm going to let it sit overnight. I was going to mount it, but. Well, there we have it. Not a bad little experiment. I'll let it care. I'll tape it off and I'll finish it up so it's all ODG. I don't like the two tone thing. It was worth a try just to see, but uh, not crazy about that. But I love that color. So I'll finish that off. That'll look nice. Something different. All right, that's about it. Till next time, Jake America.